Maine is filled with wildlife and beautiful landscape, both in land and water. Take the smallmouth bass for example that I caught in yesterday. Nice, nice. Yeah. All right. Finally. That's a big one too. Woo oh my god. That's the biggest one I've ever caught this river. <laughs> Can you move this hand a little bit? Oh. Alright, let's get this guy back in the another woods river. <laughs> yeah. After a failed attempt at catching a yellow perch, and also my brother scaring me while I wasn't even paying attention, <laughs> I just I, I just hear like in another failed attempt. As we were beginning to leave, we came across this. That's an eastern garter snake, also known as the common garter. These guys are everywhere. I was not expecting to find one here at this moment, and so. These are the most common snakes in the United States. That's why they also know as a common garter. But I'm gonna try to get them for you. These guys are quick too, but nothing like a black racer. Oh, he's muskin, but that's at least my worries. You're all right, snake. Now you can see why they're called a garter snake. The reason why they get their name, I don't wanna get bit, but the reason why they get their name is because they look like a garter belt. This is how they get their name, the garter snake. Now, this guy isn't really that big. They don't really get that big either. Don't munch on me, man. Is it coming down? A little bit. Don't even think about it, dude. But yeah, so these guys are also kept common as pets. Now, these guys are mildly venomous, but it won't kill me, nor would it do any serious damage, but even so, good thing he didn't actually tag me. He did musk on me a little bit. I won't, I'm not sure if you can get that, but... Yeah. Now, they do have venom glands behind their eyes, like most venomous snakes. Well, okay, all venomous snakes, but still. Now, I was not expecting to find them at this time of the day. I've never found snakes at this time of the day. It's 5.40 right now, but... Look how green he is. I've never seen one this green. I've always seen them in like a blue hue or just black. He is a beauty. Now, they also have this checkered padding, and the way you can tell the difference between a garter snake and a ribbon oh, snake... Jesus. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. He's calm. He's just curious right now. He doesn't know what's going on. Just why he's flicking that tongue, and they use that to catch scent particles in the air. So, the way how you tell the difference between a ribbon snake and a garter is that garter snakes have somewhat these checkered pattern along the sides and between the bands. You can see it more right here towards his neck, but, and also, garter snakes are much, uh, much fatter and are a bit shorter, and also the head is much more round. It's the first snake of the year, too. Couldn't find any of the place I usually go to. These guys out here will be eating frogs and even fish, which is why behind me is Lake Auburn, and this is a good spot for them. I was hoping to catch a snake, but not a garter, but hey. Good way to start a year. I think both a smallmouth bass and a garter snake. So yeah, these guys are the most common snakes and they're really popular in the pet trade. It's not just frogs leaf, they'll eat fish. Even at rare cases, small rodents. But yeah, these guys are very common. I've seen them everywhere. I've even found them in the weirdest places, like under a really heavy rock. Like, they're just so flat. And also, snakes are escape artists too, so they can pretty much sneak anywhere. All right, well, let's get this guy out and get going. There you go, little guy. Hey, little guy. You'll notice how well camouflaged they can actually be. If he goes under the leaf, I mean leaves, you'll see that. Another thing they'll do in defensive situations, whenever I caught them at times, whenever they get defensive, they'll mi they mimic rattlesnakes because Maine used to have timber rattlesnakes and not, there's none anymore, 
but I wouldn't be surprised at one point they would come straight back up here. A lot of them are in New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and a big hotspot for timber rattlesnakes is, thing is West Virginia, Tennessee, and majority of like central on the eastern coast. Majority of that area is covered with them. But yeah. Two birds, one day. Or should I say one snake and small mouth. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day and stay safe.